spot fat reduction. There's a belief that if we train a certain area, like back of the arm, most common in females, the tricep, if we work the tricep, we'll elicit more fat loss in this area. That's not true. And it might be a surprise to you, but the way that fat loss works, if I can simplify it, if you imagine a swimming pool, if you go to one corner of the pool and start to get water out with a bucket, it, the pool level will just gradually reduce throughout the whole pool, not necessarily in the corner that you're taking the water out from. And that's exactly how fat loss works in our body, to put very, very simply. We actually store fat in convenient areas, but it will differ between genders and genetics, like females will be more susceptible to storing fat around the back of the arms, the thighs, areas of the waist and midsection. Males, midsection mainly, does complement our ability to look lean and shredded in the upper body. Like I say, if we're going to store fat in places of the body, we will compensate for it in other areas of our body. In order to elicit fat loss from desired areas of the body, you need to ensure that you're prioritising large muscle groups. The way to work large muscle groups is through compound exercise movements. What do I mean? Movements that work across multiple joints that target big muscle groups. Shoulders, chest, back, thighs, quads, hamstrings, glutes. How do you do this? Squats, split squats, hip thrust, vertical, pulling, pressing, horizontal, pulling, pressing. These movements allow you to work all your large muscle groups so you'll develop lean muscle tissue in your large muscle groups and this will heavily improve your basal metabolic rate, especially if you haven't got much lean muscle tissue developed. That will heavily influence your ability to have an efficient working basal metabolic rate which basically just means fat loss is more efficient that way. Of course, pair that advice with a controlled calorie intake. So you develop lean muscle tissue, a controlled calorie intake. These two will help complement your ability to get into a deficit of calories. Still perform some isolation exercises towards the back end of your workout. But like I say, prioritise the, prioritize the large muscle groups. If you're concerned about fat at the back of the arm, I'd, I recommend doing a couple of tricep specific exercises towards the end of your workout twice a week maximum just pair it with your priorities and that's the same for abdominals you don't need to be doing ab circuits four or five times a week twice a week spread out will be sufficient enough make sure you use your priority of the compound exercises in your gym sessions because when you do compound exercises you're actively working the core throughout a lot of your movements whether you know it or not your core is engaged if you're doing the exercise correctly. I'm not going to provide a training split example because it's very individual and personal. If you do want specific help, then I can offer that. I'm located in Conway County and I'm a personal trainer. So contact me if you do need that specific help and I will happily help you out. There we have it. That's a quick truth on the process to losing fat in certain areas of the body. Not what you thought. Might have been surprised, but at least you learned something.